Hey guys, how are you? One of the messages I keep trying to emphasize in all my videos is that if you want to progress as a developer, you shouldn't get so caught up in the individual languages or the individual frameworks or libraries. Yes, they're important and you got to pick the right ones given the right job. But really what separates good developers from not so good developers is that good developers have a firm understanding of the core principles and techniques of programming. That is the key. Because what you're going to see when you get into programming as a professional, you're not going to be necessarily stuck on one language or just using one language. Chances are likely you're going to find yourself hopping around into different languages, different frameworks, different libraries. Like somebody said in one of the comments, when you're a programmer, you have to change languages like you change t-shirts. That's just the nature of the game. In my personal career as a developer, I've written commercial apps where I've been paid or made money with apps in nine different languages, nine different languages. And that wasn't necessarily out of choice, not like they went out there and said, I want to learn nine different languages. No, it was just that particular jobs would come up, particular circumstances would come up. And, uh, you know, whiz bang, I'm writing in a new language. Now, here's the thing. Once you have a core understanding of the fundamentals, a good grasp of, the, of those key basics and good working practices, to learn a new language is not that difficult. The challenge actually, if you're new to this whole thing, the challenge is learning that very first programming language. That's the hard part. And once you get past that, the next big challenge, of course, is building your first few programs, your first few apps. Once you've done a few, maybe three or four you have under your belt, you're gonna start feeling pretty confident about the coding that you do. That is for sure. So please try to keep that in mind. Don't become a, a language zealot or a framework zealot. React JS is the best, everything else sucks. Or Java JSPs are the best, everything else sucks. That's kind of old. Um, that's my point, that's kind of old. Things change, technologies progress, different demands require different needs. Like there was once upon a time when Ruby was one of the star languages. Ruby and Ruby Rails was such an important framework in the web development ecosystem. And now it's still around, but it's really, in all honesty, it's, it's star has faded. I just use Ruby as an example because I really want to pick on and trigger the Ruby and Rails programmers. I'm just kidding. I only use it as an example because it's a recent example. There are many other ex examples of technologies that once had a very important position in the world and fell away. Flash is another one. Flash and AS, uh, AS script, action script was uh, very, very important at one point, but it died you know, in 2010 or 11, something like that. These things do occur. So if you learn to be language neutral, you're not a programmer, you're not a Python programmer, you're not a Node.js programmer or developer, you're not a Java developer. No, you're just a developer who happens to know Java, who happens to know JavaScript and Node, who happens to know Python, etc., etc. Now, you've seen my other videos, you know what I think is uh, a good choice in terms of programming languages at this time in uh, you know, 2018. Things will change, but again, what doesn't change is understanding those fundamentals. You work on that, Everything else comes easy.